Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek uh, with a little special video for you guys that's a little bit off the beaten path, but I thought was fun enough and historically significant significant enough to show to you. So that is um, something that's presidential related, which always has interest and uh, something that whenever you get an envelope like this from the White House, you know, it just says White House on it, right? The White House. And then, uh, you know, you can see the date here is uh, October of 1953, which is nice because, hey, you know what it's where a lot of information, right? So lots of times we get stuff in and you don't always know what it is or what it's not. This is from a friend and it's something that's especially cool. Uh, the Fire Chief of Defiance, Ohio, which by the way is, of course, for anyone from Ohio, you're all over this, right? If you're from out west, you're like, Defiance, Ohio? What a strange name, you know, says says the guy who's been to Y, Arizona. You know, why not? So, cool letter, October 20th from the White House on stationery, signed by Dwight Eisenhower. It gets better, though. I'll keep telling you here in a second. Just, uh, I've learned from my staff the splendid job you did in connection with our brief visit there. For all that was done and done under heavy pressure, my staff and I are most grateful uh, to Mr. Harvey Hughes, Fire Chief Defiance, Ohio. Right, so, so there was something that came with this, which is lots of fun, uh, that I've never seen anything quite like it before uh, because I don't smoke. It's called a cigar. Also, Defiance College welcomes the Eisenhower's Defiance, Ohio, September 1953. Uh, cigar in the original case. I know what you're thinking. We should be lighting this up right now, right? But also, you're probably thinking, what type of a what what type of a, what type of a cigar is that, huh? I don't know. La Corona, right? Sounds a little bit more like a beer to me. But having said that, we had once upon a time a Dwight Eisenhower yearbook, and what I mean by that is in Abilene, Kansas, he went to a, a high school, and he had something like forty or fifty classmates. It was a small class. So the assumption is there's only a handful of yearbooks from when Dwight Eisenhower attended. So uh, this is years ago, and we put that thing on eBay, and I think it went for a couple grand. It was silly. Uh, so someone who is an aficionado for Eisenhower material would go goo goo gaga for this type of this type of item. Uh, now maybe somewhere somebody has another one of these cigars, right? Uh, but also, do you have the letter? that connects the visit, even though this says it, all together. And so that's the type of thing that when you talk about collectibles, collectibles in general, how stories sell things. So there's intrinsic value here just in the collectible aspect of it, but also the story content always, bam, knocks it up a notch like Emeril Lagasse, right? Like his pans are, are worth something, but then his name's on it, it's worth more, right? It's the same concept. So same thing with coins even, you have certain coins that if you just had a shipwrecked coin and you don't know where it's from, it might not be quite as much as when you have a coin that says the name of the shipwreck and da da da, right? We have medieval coins that we get in that all look very, very similar, but no one's ever heard of any of these guys and they don't care. But then all of a sudden you get a certain name on that same coin and it becomes popular like, oh, well, I mean the Lionheart, Richard the Lionheart. Well, you know, it's his coins aren't necessarily any more rare, but they have more demand for them. And the story goes, right, once you get a story or a name brand recognition, things can go up in value pretty quickly. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's a fun little item. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner. Watch more videos, but also tell me if you have anything like this at all in your collection. Thanks so much for watching.